All right, y'all, we're about to do a quick game time banger for the Super Bowl or for any time of the year, um, but especially for the Super Bowl since it's getting ready to happen. So what we have here is some chicken tenders. You know, you can buy these at Sam's or Costco, full-size chicken tenders. We got some good old uh, Tony Sacheray butter jalapeno. Simple, man. Shake it up. And instead of injecting it, just pour it on there. I'm using the whole bottle. We're going to let this sit. I'm going to let it sit for about an hour, and then we'll come back and move on to the next step. Oh, and also, garlic salt. Go ahead and throw you a little bit of that in there. Maybe about a tablespoon. And then get in there with your gloves and just work it all around. And we're going to let this sit. Like I say, we're going to let this sit in the refrigerator for about an hour. You can definitely let it sit overnight, but about an hour. All right, we're also going to hook up a little dip. So we got some Thai chili. Uh, seasoning, we got some ranch seasoning, we got some good old Duke's mayo, and we got some onion, Lipton onion soup mix. And we're gonna put all that together and make a banging dip to go along with these chicken tenders. So, y'all stay tuned. Yeah, boy. Our chicken tenders are marinating. Now it's time to go ahead and get this dip done. Cause the earlier you get it done, the better off you are. All right, first things first, the Lipton soup mix. You thinking, man, Lipton soup mix, yeah. We don't even want the onions that's in it. We just want the powder. Put in a little sieve. We just want the powder off of it. You can save the onions for something else. But this is the best onion onion powder ever that comes out of this Lipton onion soup mix. All right, got that ready to roll. One pack is all you need, well, all I need. We take a little celery seed. That's probably like a teaspoon of celery seed. All right. All right, ranch seasoning. I know y'all have seen this in the store. It's actually really good when it comes to making a dip. And so, like I said, I'm freehanding it. Let's say that's a tablespoon. That's two tablespoons. That's three tablespoons. That's about four. You ain't never got too much ranch seasoning when it comes to dip for chicken tenders. All right. Now, I know all y'all tripping. The Thai chili seasoning, trust me. This ain't got nothing to do with being, to making a Thai dish, but it has the garlic, it has the ginger, it has a lemongrass, it has a cilantro, it's got those little chili peppers in it. And trust me, you, it's, you ain't gonna, it, just add it. One tablespoon, two tablespoons. Now, the star of the show, douche mayonnaise. All that other stuff y'all use, leave it out the equation. I'm not measuring. Let's say that's a half a cup. Let's say that's a cup. Let's say that's a cup and a half. Let's say that's two cups. All right. All you want to do is mix it. The Thai chili has the garlic and everything in it. Man, it's gonna be crazy on these uh, on these wings. Oh, and I forgot one thing. Stay tuned. All right. So you mix all that up. That's what we're looking at right now. You're like, man, that's too gloppy. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to unglop it. All right, you got that mixed up. Then you come in with sour cream. This is sour cream. One spoonful, two spoonfuls, three spoonful. This is this this for the big game. You ain't gotta measure that. That's what's gonna smooth it out. Mix it up, and this is what's gonna smooth it out and give it that good flavor and that good body. And trust me, man, this dip right here on them chicken tenders, gonna be fire. All right. If you notice, I ain't add no salt. This right here has a little bit of salt. This right here has a little bit of salt. But if you need to, you always gotta taste it. No salt needed, trust me. This right here is fire. So let's move on to the next step. Okay guys, now it's time to get the uh, flour mixture together for the chicken tenders. Cause I'm gonna fry mine. You could definitely fry them in a the deep fryer, but I'm gonna fry mine right there in that air fryer. It's right here, it's on the, on the top of the stove. No grease needed. So I've got some flour here. Use as much as you want. This may be like three cups of flour, four cups of flour. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go simple with it garlic salt 
and I ain't even measuring. I'm just gonna flavor my flour. I'm gonna season my flour. I'm also gonna go in with some pepper. No, no, no measurements, cause you want to season the taste. You know, it's all about your taste. Close the bag up, shake it up. Remember back in the day, your mom used to have that shaking bake. That's what you got right there. Shake it up, taste it. If the flour tastes seasoned, you're good. If it don't, then you need to go in with some more stuff. And also, I'm gonna use my Art Grill Party Dust with this as well, so stay tuned. All right, I'm also gonna use some of my Art Grill Party Dust. Uh, this is probably about, maybe about a fourth a cup or a little bit more than that. That's gonna give us some good color on those chicken tenders and also add some great flavor. And that's it, the seasoned flour is ready. That's all you need. You put that to the side and you're good to go. So stay tuned for the next step, but start frying these things. Yeah, boy. All right, now that my chicken tenders are finished marinating, I had them in the refrigerator for about an hour. Like I said, you can do it longer than that if you want to. I've also started to go ahead and preheat my air fryer. So I turned it on, it's gonna run at 370. All right, so all you wanna do is just take them out, get you a little sieve or something, put them in another bowl, and just wanna let them drain a little bit. Okay? You wanna try to get off as much of this uh, Tony Sacheray marinade as you can. And I won't stuff it. I'm just gonna start with that. So you wanna let them drain in here for a minute. And then next up is the flour. All right, next up, it's time to flour. Now, if you have to, shake them a little bit, try to get as much of that marinade off as you can. Got our flour right here, seasoned flour. Like I said, if you don't wanna fry them, you could definitely just go naked like this and stick them right in the air fryer and let them cook for about 12 to 15 minutes, perfect. But we fry them. So in the flour they go. All right, take one glove off, zip it up. Shake and bake, baby. All right, let's get that out the way. Now this is the key right here. When you take them out, shake them off. We're gonna put them on a plate. We're gonna let them sit and tack up a little bit. And what I mean by tack up is we're gonna let this flour get a little wet on the chicken tenders. That's what's gonna help it stick and give you that nice crispy crust. So y'all stay tuned. We're gonna take these out, air fryer next. All right, this is our air fryer. What I've been doing is I've been letting the air fryer preheat on 400 degrees. So it's preheated for probably about 15 minutes now. Kind of similar to what you would do if you was putting it in the deep fryer. You want to get your grease hot first. All right, so I've already sprayed it down with cooking spray. All I'm going to do is take my chicken tenders and start putting them on here. Making sure you separate them out a little bit. I could go side. I could go long ways. Let's go this way. I might be able to get more on there. Give them a little room. All right. I'm going to put one in the back. This is my first rack. I'm going to do a two racks. And then I'm going to put this one kind of right here towards the top a little bit. Just like that. Matter of fact, we'll just cook one at a time. All right, close it up. I'm gonna set my timer for five minutes. At the five minute mark, I'm gonna flip them over. Stay tuned. All right, so let me backtrack a little bit. I didn't go five minutes aside, I actually went seven minutes aside. And I forgot to tell you that when you do that, you want to spray them down with some form of cooking spray before you put them in there. I missed that step. But anyway, that's been seven minutes on one side. I'm flipping them over. All right. And again, you know, you're not using a deep fry, so they ain't gonna get crazy dark like you would have used deep frying. And then I'm just hitting, I'm hitting them up with a little bit of cooking spray to give them a little bit of oil. Back in the fry, they go. All right, guys, and just like that, 15 minutes later, we got one minute left, but it's basically been 15 minutes. 15 minutes later, we are ready to go. Look at them things right there, man. Look at them chicken tenders. Yeah, boy, let's go ahead and plate them up. All right, guys, and just like that, we are ready to go. Just wanna make a point. If you have some pieces like this where you have a little bit of that flour, white flour showing, I would say when you're using the air fryer like the one I have, it's very powerful. Continue to spray like every five minutes the chicken tenders down with some kind of cooking oil and you should be good to go. But anyway, 
Let's go ahead and lay them things on out. Yes, sir. Big game chicken wings, y'all. Just in time for the Super Bowl. All right, guys, and there you have it. Some big game air fryer fried beautiful chicken tenders. We got our beautiful dipping sauce right here. Always like to put a few limes on there to dip mine in. And you know what? Nothing, no big game is complete without a nice cold beer to go with it. Yes, sir. So there y'all go, man. Hope y'all enjoy this video. Please try this recipe out. And as always, good food, good vibes. Yeah, boy. <laughs>